Lucas Media. So we got some news coming out of boxing, and that is Javante Tank Davis, WBA champion, is in negotiations with Vasily Lomachenko, who is the IBF champion, and this is at 135 pounds. So of course they will be fighting for unification, and also Ring Magazine said that they have their belt on the line, which is it used to be a belt. I don't know, whatever. But so I had people reaching out to me and asking me what I think about this fight. While I think that they should have fought several years ago, I do think that this is a great fight. They have two different unique styles. You know, Vasilo Machenko is more of the slick boxer. Javante Tank Davis and knock you out with one punch. And you know, this is early predictions if this fight goes on because y'all know how funny boxing is honestly i don't know i don't know i would definitely pick javante tech davis to win the fight if he can stop lomachenko within eight rounds see both of them are they start out both kind of slow they say that lomachenko downloads your information and even tank davis like you you even seen with frank martin with you know the first round you know the first several rounds you start out slow then round five six seven and up you pick it up so it would be very unique to see how both these fighters would go the first couple of rounds is i'm sure tank will be pressing lomachenko but both of them are counter punchers and you know, while Lomachenko has lost to Tiafimo Lopez and Devin the Dream Haney, as far as the bigger names, at 135 pounds, he ain't nothing to sleep on. You know, and we all say that styles make fights. So can he outbox Tank Davis for 10 for 12 rounds? I don't know. But what I do know is he's gonna get his chin checked. And if Tank Davis hits Lomachenko like how he hit Frank Martin, it's over. But again, Lomachenko's so slick, who's to say he's gonna get hit that hit like that? But again, this is all early negotiations. You know, I have been critical of Tank, especially of his past fights. You know, and I, I have a lot of people in my comment section, you know, going in on me for being critical of tank but like i said we just want to see the best fight the best so you know if tank got this mega deal with amazon you know again if he did shout out to him get your money but if tank got this mega deal with amazon and you know he got this hit list let's see the best fight the best now us extreme fans have been screaming for this fight for at least the last five years and floyd and leonard tell us that the fight wasn't ready and we don't know what we're talking about so now that tank is in his own control and it appears that leonard ellaby is now under uh working for tank davis instead of floyd mayweather then hopefully we can get to see this fight now i said again i would like to see tank fight shakur but i really think that he's going to fight him and Devin haney at the end but if tank stays at 135 like he said you got to fight unification and then you got to fight Devin Haney because at the end of the day, all these fighters had Devin Haney belts. But I just want to give my quick thoughts about it. Again, this is all negotiations. Y'all know they could be negotiating for six months and then they, they both end up fighting nobodies, you know. So, you know, this, this is a very early fantasy fight, hopefully, that we can get. But yeah, I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.